I bet I look real cool doing this. <laughs> Here you go. Good morning, Box. Good morning, Ken. Good morning. Um, Good morning, Box. How are you today? Good. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're not doing so well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope this vlog cheers you up. We are heading home. I just got picked up, and we got I I got picked up a bit early. Um, and I was hoping to get to the junkyard, but I just looked online, and I should have done that first before we hit the lands. Uh, they close much sooner than I thought they did. But you didn't bring your tools. And I didn't bring my tools with me, so she, we couldn't just drop me off, and so that's unfortunate. Um, so we're just gonna go home. That's fine. Uh, maybe I'll go get a haircut. I need a haircut. Should I go get a haircut? Um, there are a lot of people that are pro haircut in the comments. <laughs> the last people days. are like, get a haircut. It bothers people too. Although I co I comb my hair it's down. It's funny because it today. actually it actually sometimes just cuts out of the shot. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> your hair is taken on a life of its own. I uh, walked in today and a coworker was like, did you cut your hair? And I was like, what? No, I just combed my hair today. <laughs> He's we like, like, oh. We like. Listen, coworker. If I cut my hair, it would be much more noticeable than yeah, this. Yeah, no, I was like, is this the person you're looking for? <laughs> like, I poofed my hair out. Um, so today is December 1st, so Ken is actually off tomorrow. He took the day off because it's Adelaide's birthday. It's like the one personal day I actually take. Yeah, so um, probably when you're watching this, assuming I even get it up tomorrow, I don't know if I will, because it just depends on how I feel. I'm surprised on how well I'm feeling today. But it just started. It's like 4 p.m., and this is about the time that I went to... This is when we went to the... Uh, the appointment. appointment. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you guys do this. It's almost like a PTSD thing. Um, every year on, like, the anniversary of her stillbirth and uh, finding out that she had died, like, I think about, okay, so what was I doing at this time? that day and so like I would have been actually probably right now is when they would be taking my blood pressure yeah and saying your blood pressure is a little high for you yep. so yeah anyway while you're watching this we're probably having a rough day but um for other reasons we've had a difficult day today Rosalind has had a really hard time uh, she's just been very very cranky I kept her up so that we could pick Ken up on time she was ready for a nap about three hours ago. So she fell asleep within like two minutes of getting into the car. And I really hope that she stays asleep when I move her from the car seat into the house. Oh, what's this? What's this? My keys. I have my keys again. I'm so excited. Did you miss that? <laughs> Before? And after. Look at that. It feels really weird. I like move my head and I feel the air. I bet I look real cool doing this. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Little Cub's having a hard time. Yeah, she just woke up from her nap. Her nap. Oh, look at that little frown. <laughs> yeah. Her nap didn't really happen properly today. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> now the news, I got a new toy. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can yeah, you tell? You can, can, tell. Tell? You can tell. You can tell. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Thanks again, Josh. Um, yeah, so, so a friend of mine. Is this our friend Josh that lives in a different state? Yes. Or a friend? Okay. Yeah. Um, so a friend of ours uh, who's out of state, he, uh, <laughs> he saw the paintball uh, vlog and he was like, yeah, <laughs> you need something extra, and so he went ahead and got me this thing. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, but now, when I go on things like paintball excursions, I'll have my hands free, and it won't look stupidly duct taped to my chest. Although it, it is flashing a light, which will draw attention to you. Yeah, but the most important thing is that the perspective is there. I think, and I can like look around, like, whoa, what's that? And then you guys can see it. It's cool. What's up, Heidi? Oh, Rosam just saw the painting on the wall. And now she wants to watch Hello Kitty. All I'm saying is, you know, Roslyn and I are going away to visit my mom and help take care of her this week. And if that wasn't on the wall when we came back... Is in a new location. 
it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay. So my hair is all wet because I just got out of the shower and honestly I'm not feeling good today. Can you see me Ken? You're mm -hmm. making the face you make when it's out of focus. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't really feel like filming very much today, but it is the first day of dress summer and I just realized I haven't shown you my dress. So this was the dress I was wearing. I was about to change into my pajamas and then I realized I should probably show you. I had leggings on earlier too, but... But not anymore. Not anymore. Um, so, and Ken can show you Rosalind's dress in just a minute. It's, look at the maternity, 22 weeks today. All right. Um, so I'll be participating in December uh, maternity style. So if you want to fund our team, we're trying to raise $800. We raised 10 yesterday, or at least as of right now. So that's very exciting. You can check it out down below. It's a really cool organization that's trying to help end sex trafficking. Um, so if you want to donate to us, we'll be wearing dresses all month. The money's not really going to us, it's going to end sex trafficking. Um, but you can check out the link in the description. And I'll be showing you dresses all month, and if you want to see them ahead of time, check me out on Instagram. This is dress. Can this you is dance? Roslyn's dress. Little, little dress. Yeah, she had a different one on earlier, but then she took a bath and wanted to wear this one. This is her favorite. Roslyn re refuses to lay in her bed. So, she wants to lay on the floor, so we're going to take her bed and put it on the floor. This is the plan now. Oh. Vlog. Hi, vlog. Yeah, you're just, I'm just letting the vlog know, little cub, that you, uh, you insisted on this laying on the floor. So we've, uh, we've arranged for that to be comfortable, okay? Alright, say goodnight. Nah. You know, about this time, it's about, I should probably tell you what time it is, it's about 9.30, about this time, um, four years ago, we were in the hospital. We had been checked in, I think, around now. Um, and we were kind of just waiting. Um, it's really weird, I think, um, remembering back. Uh, it, it was four years ago, and it feels emotionally like it's there. And it, it, I feel very sad, and I feel very just upset and kind of depressed. Logically, it's it, the memory has fallen. It's not like prominently there all of the time, which is good. It's nice because you know I have all these other new memories and fresh memories, but the uh, the pain's still there. Um, I, I I liken it to like a bad knee that that acts up um, or something like when the weather's just right or something where it's a dull ache now. It's not this searing, unbearable pain. Um, and I know I know some of you guys going through. Uh, loss have 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 felt or are feeling similar things and if you're going through a recent loss I'm so so very sorry that you're going through that I, I definitely know what that's like um, and it sucks it really sucks uh, I, I can say that you know things do generally get better with time it hurts less um, over time but it still hurts uh, it definitely helps that I have Rosalind though that's very helpful, and those of you that uh, maybe are unable to have a child of your own, or, or for whatever reason, um, I, I, I pray that you find a way to to help with that, um, and maybe you can adopt or any things. But um, I, I, I'm I'm certainly hopeful that you you can find a way to ease your pain. Um, anyway, so Heidi's asleep, which is probably for the best. <laughs> Um, Little Cub's finally asleep, and I'm, I'm kind of just here uh, with my thoughts, which is why I was like, oh, well, I should talk to Box a little bit. Um, and here, I guess I'll go, uh, go go, do what I do when I, I, uh, I don't feel like thinking about much, and that is play video games. So I'm sitting here editing the vlog, and I just saw uh, Ken's little talk about what this day means to us. And um, there didn't really seem to be a very good transition to Roslyn ending the vlog. So I just want to let you know we're going to cut back to Roslyn ending the vlog right now so you can see it. But it's not necessarily going to be the smoothest transition because Ken's going from talking about something pretty serious to something, you know, Roslyn being adorable. So here's Roslyn saying goodbye to you. Say thumbs up. <laughs> You're back to the way. There we go. Thumbs up.
Okay, and say subscribe. Okay. Right. Subscribe. Okay. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You can go. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Say good night. Yes. Wait, you forgot to go turn off the light. Yep. Go get the light. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna put you in your bed. Oh, oh. oh my oh, god. Hi. Uh, okay. Night night. Night night. Uh, Lisa Campbell has mentioned that I do need a haircut. And you're right. And Several it's... people in that vlog <laughs> actually mentioned the haircut. And today for you is December 1st, and so hopefully I will I'll be getting my haircut today. He's doing unintentional, no no haircut November. Yes. I looked back over the vlog, I think it was like September was the last time you got your haircut.